every image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope is a new discovery, offering humanity a view of the universe never seen before. The exploration of our cosmos through this telescope stands as one of humanity's great engineering achievements. With the dawn of a new era in astronomy, the world witnesses the full capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope for the first time. Launched after more than two decades of meticulous preparation, this $10 billion telescope aims to capture starlight from the earliest galaxies born in the fiery crucible of the Big Bang. Despite facing numerous delays, the James Webb Telescope has finally delivered remarkable results. The latest images it has captured are challenging the scientific community's understanding of galaxy formation, prompting a potential rewrite of textbooks on the universe's beginnings. As we delve into Webb's newest images, we glimpse at another universe at the edge of our own. Throughout history, humans have found meaning in the stars, but only recently have we begun to comprehend the vast clusters of galaxies that populate the depths of space. The journey of understanding accelerated with the invention of the telescope in the 17th century, sparking debates about the nature of these distant celestial bodies. It wasn't until the 1920s, thanks to the work of astronomers like Edwin Hubble and Harrietta Leavitt, that galaxies were identified as separate entities from our own Milky Way. The advent of the Hubble Space Telescope in the mid-1990s provided humanity with unprecedented views of thousands of galaxies across the universe, revealing a cosmic tapestry of island after island in a vast sea of space. Yet, recent revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope have shattered existing notions about galaxies and their formation. These groundbreaking discoveries challenge scientists to reconsider their understanding of cosmic evolution. The Webb Telescope's observations have unveiled galaxies that formed much earlier than previously thought, some unexpectedly massive and teeming with stars. These findings have upended established cosmological models, such as the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, by suggesting that galaxies grew to immense sizes much sooner after the Big Bang than anticipated. The discoveries made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope have sparked intense debate within the astronomy community, with some questioning the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. As researchers continue to analyze Webb's data, the mysteries of the cosmos deepen, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge further than ever before, years after the Big Bang, yet measures more than 10 billion times as massive as our Sun. One of the galaxies even appears to be more massive than the Milky Way, despite that our own galaxy had billions of more years to form and grow. If the masses are right, then we are in uncharted territory, Boiling Colton said. We'll require something very new about galaxy formation or a modification to cosmology. One of the most extreme possibilities is that the universe was expanding faster shortly after the Big Bang than we predict, which might require new forces and particles for galaxies to form so fast at such a size. They also would need to be converting nearly 100% of their available gas into stars. We typically see a maximum of 10% of gas converted into stars, Boiling Colchen said. So, while 100% conversion of gas into stars is technically right at the edge of what is theoretically possible, it's really the case that this would require something to be very different from what we expect. For all of the breathless excitement it evokes, JWST has presented astronomers with an unsettling dilemma. If the mass in time since the Big Bang are confirmed for these galaxies, fundamental changes to the reigning model of cosmology, what's called the dark energy plus cold dark matter lambda CDM paradigm, which has guided cosmology since the late 1990s, could be needed. If there are other faster ways to form galaxies than lambda CDM allows, or if more matter actually was available for forming stars and galaxies in the early universe than was previously understood, astronomers would need to shift their prevailing thinking. The six galaxies' times and masses are initial estimates and will need follow-up confirmation with spectroscopy, a method that splits the light into a spectrum and analyzes the brightness in different colors. Such analysis might suggest that central supermassive black holes, which could heat up the surrounding gas, may be making the galaxies brighter so that they look more massive than they really are. Or perhaps the galaxies are actually seen at a time much later than originally estimated due to dust that causes the color of the light from the galaxy to shift redder, giving the illusion of being more light years away and thus further back in time. Of course, further investigations into the six universe breakers are required. Astronomers are confident that the Webb Telescope's Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR spec, which surveys temperature, mass, and chemical composition of target objects, is more than capable of providing a conclusive answer regarding their existence. In the meantime, let's admire the new stunning photos taken by NASA's time machine. 
the Webb telescope has imaged seven galaxies that comprise a massive galactic cluster in the early stages of its evolution. The galaxies are seen as they were just 650 million years after the Big Bang, meaning they make up the youngest so-called protocluster ever seen by astronomers. The protocluster will eventually grow in mass and size by incorporating galaxies, forming a galactic cluster that resembles the Coma Cluster, which NASA describes as a monster of the modern universe. The observation of these seven galaxies could therefore help scientists better understand how the cosmos has evolved over its 13.8 billion year existence to take the form we see in the local universe today. This is a very special unique site of accelerated galaxy evolution, and the JWST gave us the unprecedented ability to measure the velocities of these seven galaxies and confidently confirm that they are bound together in a protocluster, research lead author Tokahiro Moreshita, a scientist at the Infrared Processing and Analysis Center at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, said in a statement. The team was able to determine that the galaxies are moving at over 2 million miles per hour or 3.2 million kilometers per hour, about 1,000 times faster than a bullet fired by a rifle through a halo of dark matter. The key to doing this and to determining the distances between the galaxies were precise measurements captured by Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSpec. The NIRSpec data allowed the team to model how the galaxy group develops over time and build a picture of what this cluster should look like in the modern universe. They predicted the protocluster will resemble the Coma Cluster, meaning it could now be one of the densest clusters of galaxies in the cosmos, with thousands of individual member galaxies. We can see these distant galaxies like small drops of water in different rivers, and we can see that eventually, they will all become part of one big mighty river, team member Benedetta Volcani of the National Institute of Astrophysics in Italy said in the same statement. Galaxy clusters are the greatest concentrations of mass in the known universe, which can dramatically warp the fabric of spacetime itself. This warping, called gravitational lensing, can have a magnifying effect for objects beyond the cluster, allowing astronomers to look through the cluster like a giant magnifying glass. The research team was able to utilize this effect, looking through Pandora's cluster to view the protocluster. Even Webb's powerful instruments need an assist from nature to see so far. Exploring how large clusters like Pandora and Coma first came together has been difficult due to the expansion of the universe stretching light beyond visible wavelengths into the infrared, where astronomers lacked high-resolution data. Before Webb, Webb's infrared instruments were developed specifically to fill in these gaps at the beginning of the universe's story. The seven galaxies confirmed by Webb were first established as candidates for observation using data from the Hubble Space Telescope's Frontier Fields program. The program dedicated Hubble time to observations using gravitational lensing to observe very distant galaxies in detail. However, because Hubble cannot detect light beyond near-infrared, there was only so much detail it can see. Webb picked up the investigation, focusing on the galaxies scouted by Hubble and gathering detailed spectroscopic data in addition to imagery. The study of such protoclusters in the early universe could get a massive boost when JWST teams up with another powerful telescope in the future. That's all the information that we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes. Be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.